And this is a show about blackness. And blackness on the continent is very complicated. We are all Africans, but we are not all black. such a privilege to be part of this exhibition. Just bringing this African art and black art to the global stage on such a high level. In this particular show, it's very clear that we is uh, about African and Afro-descendant people. And uh, the way the black experience has been portrayed by African artists and African descent. Gugu, you went through six chapters in the exhibition. Which chapter spoke to you more? I feel like all the chapters are infused with joy. Triumph and emancipation to me is very much joy with autonomy and power and freedom underneath it all. So I would say every chapter, but, but probably um, joy. I couldn't believe that all of these works were in the same space. Like these are artists that I've studied. You know, what Koya has done is really put into context and partnered artists that we've never seen before, which has been amazing to me to just be alongside them. It's an absolute dream come true. My name is Jade Hassel. I'm a Remedian artist working in multimedia. When you see us, because um, these are the people that I was looking up to, now we are all in one space. My name is Tina Samson. I'm a Cape Town-based artist. The process of your work, what does it entail? The, the process is very much intense. Uh, lots of passion to do and a lot of enjoyment. It's a very natural, uh, very ancient um, approach to it. It's a practice that you have to, you know, kind of really get involved, your soul, physically, emotionally. So it's my first time in Cape Town. The art scene is vibrant. I feel really inspired. And so I'm just, I'm thrilled that the work could be here and, you know, be amongst other artists at this particular time. The Zeitz Mocha building is absolutely stunning. I walked in and I was flabbergasted. I was just like, what is this place? I mean, it sort of makes you feel a little insignificant because it's so big and it's, it's stunning. Of the exhibition, I was particularly drawn to the, the wall colors. The, the red and the green together, it was perfect. Uh, the color there is an, 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 a whole thinking around the color palette of the show because we wanted to so represent the, the nature and the color of Africa. Yeah. So this ochre, I call it ochre, some people call it red, yes. is the quintessential color of uh, African soil. Most yeah, of African really soil. Is. That rich red exactly, earth. has yeah. this color. I am so impressed with Koya, and it's been a, a wonderful experience to meet her because she is so intelligent. She has such a breathtaking vision for this exhibition and for this gallery. There are very few fashion brands that have conversation or the way they engage with the public as uh, Gucci does. Gucci has been a partner of the museum from the inception of the museum so and it has been stayed true and faithful to it and the impact that Gucci support has in this museum is huge. <laughs>